Good morning, this is Cherie from Arcana RV and this is a quick walk around of our Montana High Country 385BR or bunk room model. We're starting here with our front cap, a solid fiberglass front cap with LED strip lighting. Your backup mirror here with your road armor fifth wheel hitch on here. Right up front we have additional storage compartment here as well as the area here for your battery package and uh, the battery disconnect as you can see here it has a pure sine wave inverter this unit comes equipped with the 440i solar package on this unit we're just going to step back here we're going to take a look down our driver or non-camp side of the unit along here you can see we have three slide outs one in the bedroom one in the little uh, bunk room or office space and then your kitchen area now as we come up here towards the front we have our Lippert uh, self-leveling uh, electric leveling system in here. Here is one of the compartments that house your two 30-pound propane tanks. This is your pass-through storage on our non-camp side. You have here your convenience center, which is your outdoor shower, your winterization area, hookup for city water connections, your tank flush, your tank releases, key TV, hook up here as well as if you want additional solar panels you can do a quick connect with the other panel right here. Again a quick view of your pass-through. There is the area where your hot water tank is and your exhaust. Again we have our two more slide outs here along our non-camp side. Electric stabilizers. It is a dual axle unit. We're going to come continue along down the back here. Here's our power hookup. It is a 60 amp power hookup back here. Coming around to the back, again, this unit does have a hitch back here, which will take a 350 pound straight down tongue weight or 3000 pounds towing with a four pin wiring connection. It is hooked up already for if you wanted to put in a backup camera system. As you can see, we do have the ladder that is heading up to the fully walkable roof. Now we're gonna come down along the camp side of the unit. We have one additional slide out on this side. We have two power awnings out here with LED lights. The one here that you see across this slide out over to our solid step area heading up into the unit. Again, this is the Montana 385 with the 220 watt solar on it. Now we come along here. On our campsite we have our, our outdoor kitchen area. There is a pull-out griddle, storage compartment above, another space here for keeping things, an outdoor fridge, and a cutting board here. Again, our pass-through storage from our campsite and the other compartment that houses the other 30-pound propane tank. Now we're going to head up the stairs. You do have that nice grab bar to get into the unit, and then we're going to head inside. First thing you're going to notice right here by the stairs, we have our um, fuse panel as well as the hookup for your central vac system in here. Now this cabinet right above is a little bit of a shelf space and then your all of your control panels in here for your inverter being able to turn on your ceiling fan in here and the other controls. First thing we're going to do is going to head into the main part of our unit here. This is a rear living now, in our slide out that is on the camp side, you're going to find your dinette table with four chairs. That is an extendable table. Lots of windows. All of them will open for cross ventilation. Here we have our theater seats. They are power theater seats in here. Now, in the very back of the unit, we have a queen size tri fold sofa. This will fold up to a queen size bed. Now, above the uh, sofa here, we have additional cabinets for storage. Let's open that up real quick. You see lots of space in here. Now we're going to come around and have a quick look on either side of the pull-out couch. You do have plug-ins on either side as well as USB ports for charging devices. Now our slide out on our non-camp side or driver's side of the unit. Nice large slide out and in here you have your entertainment section with cabinetry above the television. There is some hidden shelves in behind the uh, unit here as well, behind the television, so for additional tuck-away storage. 
the JBL sound system in here, and your electric fireplace. Storage drawers for keeping things like your remotes for your entertainment unit. Then we're going to move across now to our cooking area. We have a three burner gas stove. We have the nice large oven in here. There is a matching stainless steel covered drawer for pots and pans. Cabinetry on either side of the stove. We're going to come up here. We have our microwave in here. It is a residential microwave and you've got storage on either side and above the microwave and the stove area here. Now again, we're going to move over to our refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator in here. This is a fridge and freezer combination. You have your refrigerator on the right and the freezer section on the left. Now, as we come around in our area, the next area I'm going to show you is the pantry space. You do have additional lots of pantry shelving in here as well. A coffee station bar, additional drawers and cabinet space here as well. You do have power hookups here and more storage above. We're going to now have a quick look at our island. We do have a drop down extension for the countertop in here. So if you need additional prep space, you have it here. It is a large rectangular stainless steel sink in here with the sink covers as well as your high rise faucet with spray nozzle. An additional four drawers here for your utensils and storage down below for your garbage can and being able to tuck away your sink covers. Now we're going to head up and well we're going to head into the office first. Our slide out here which is our bunk room or office. This is a double uh, as far as this will a trifold sofa will fold out to be a double size bed. Blackout shades here as well. Now while we're in here if you're going to use it as a bunk room fantastic if not what a great office space this makes. An area here with full pl plugins and hookups for television and computers. You've got storage cabinetry above this desk area as well as more space beside it. Now we're going to head out of our office bunk room area and back at that so the stairways that we started as we came in. You'll hear the extendable ladder here that will take you up and give you access to the loft space that is above here. There's storage space here at the front uh, up at the end of the beds for tucking away the kids luggage containers, air conditioning vents here, lights and power for being able to plug in devices and everything else for them to recharge. Now again we're going to head down into the main bedroom area. It is a king size bed in here. There is storage down below as well and there's your accessories for the vacuum system. You do have the shelving above the windows here that have both power and USB for charging devices and having an alarm clock set up. At the very front of the unit here, we have your sliding closet. In here, you have an upper shelf area, the lower area for hanging. And then right beside it is another door, which will give us either more wardrobe space or if you so choose to have a washer dryer hookup in here. Again, power source water hookups, everything you need right here in that front closet. Now we're going to take a look along our campsite. You have an additional dresser space in here that has six drawers to be able to put all your stuff away. An area if you wanted to hook up another television in here, full power hookups and a wall mount area. Now we're going to head into the main bathroom. In here we have a porcelain toilet, a pantry or linen toiletry space with covered doors here. We have a nice rectangular shaped shower with a skylight in here. Nice fixtures. Now we have a, a look at our sink and counter area. You have a set of four, three drawers, storage space underneath the sink, as well as your mirrored medicine chest in here. You also have a fan in the bathroom here as well. 
So this was a quick walkthrough of the 385 BR bunk room or small office, Montana High Country. Again, thanks for watching. This is Cherie, Arcan RV.